I'm delighted to be here on this occasion of the launch of the Lancet Nigeria Commission Investing in Health and the Future of the Nation. This is an important work, an important report done by, we're told, a group of Nigerian academics and health policy experts from our top universities on, and Nigerians in diaspora. The report is aptly described as a report by Nigerians for Nigeria. And the report established, in my view, the and did so indisputably, the linkage between health investments and the socioeconomic development of our nation. To this end, the report proposes a new social contract centered on health to address Nigeria's need to define the rela her relationship or the relationship between the citizens and the state. And the further recommendations that prevention has to be at the heart of health policy, given Nigeria's young population, and requiring a whole of government approach and community engagement. The whole notion of one nation, one health policy to attain universal health coverage, which would, we're told, particularly benefit those segments of the, of the population bearing the highest disease burden. An ambitious program of healthcare reform to deliver a centrally determined, locally delivered health system including providing health insurance for 83 million poor Nigerians who cannot afford to pay health premiums. A health system that encourages innovation and engages communities to ensure that existing nationally driven schemes have local buy-in and are sustainable and also reforming the policy and regulatory landscape to unleash the market potential of the private sector. Then a whole system, a whole system assessment of the investment needs in, the Nigeria's, in, in Nigeria's health security, in which the pandemic, and I think the pandemic has exposed those particular weaknesses. We now can tell what those weaknesses are. And in order to redesign and rethink our health security needs, I think there's enough that we know now and uh, perhaps more than ever before since the pandemic. And also that government should lead the development of standards for the digitization of health records, better data collection, registration, and quality assurance systems. And I believe that this objective of a new social compact is important. If we're even to meet the constitutional guarantees that we've sworn to, encapsulated especially in the right to life, to our citizens and the primary aspiration of the fundamental objectives of the Nigerian state, which is the well-being of the Nigerian citizen. So I think the report captures what it is that must motivate government to be more concerned about health policy and especially to place health policy at the center of the social compact between the Nigerian, between the Nigerian citizen and the state. I must say that this government uh, has placed great emphasis on advancing the health of all Nigerians. We put primary health care at the heart of our reform effort, which ensures that basic health care services of high quality is delivered to Nigerians irrespective of where they live in the country. And we believe that the health of Nigerians does matter. And we therefore focused interventions on the people living in the rural areas women and, of course, vulnerable populations. Of course, there's no way by which we can say that we've done enough or nearly enough. The challenges are there for us all to see. And I think the report underscores those challenges and, of course, uh, puts all of the responsibility where it ought to lie. But we welcome innovation and fresh thinking to further improve Nigeria's health outcomes. And I think this report provides a number of excellent recommendations, some of which are already being implemented, but many of which we will have to carefully consider. The timing of the, population, of the publication of this report is important. And I think uh, it is 
it is uh, particularly apt because Mr. President has just inaugurated the Health Reform Committee, which has asked me to chair. And the committee, I believe, will benefit immensely from the input of the experts who authored this report, and in fact, from the entire report itself. The need to provide our people with universal health coverage led to the enactment of our National Health Act 2014. Based on this important legislation, this, gov this government, and I believe future administrations, are well placed to expand coverage and provide the much needed health care. So I want to thank our health minister and, of course, all the health officials for the hard work. And we've heard also the, the, uh, the, the extremely uh, commendable work that uh, the task force on COVID-19 did, which I think displayed our public health uh, system in the best possible light and has shown that we do have a, a robust public health uh, system and that, yes, it needs some tweaking here and there, but that we're quite prepared uh, for the challenges of the future. Government, the federal government, will continue to promote the welfare of all in the health sector. And I must say that also that we're extremely grateful to the commissioners who authored this report and to the Lancet who have provided their global platform to publish this report. It is therefore my very special pleasure and privilege to formally launch the Nigeria Commission report, investing in health and the future of the nation. Thank you very much.